Let's look at relays for a minute. Um, this is a, an ice cube relay. They call it that because it kind of looks like an ice cube if you look at the plastic alone. Um, this is a 24 volt coil. You can see 24 volts on the coil there. Of course it's electromagnetic. You can see there there's a, a little gap that you can see between the, uh, the coil and that uh, piece of metal there. When I turn on the coil it generates a magnetic field and that pulls in that little piece of metal. When I do that it moves those contacts. You can see the contacts. You can see how there's a gap on one side. That's the normally open contact. And you see how the other side is closed already. That's normally closed. So when I energize it, in this case, I've got four sets of contacts. This is a four pole relay, four poles. Each pole can supply power to a circuit. Okay. So um, you can see on the bottom, see those two two uh, pins by themselves? That's the coil. Um, the other ones, you can see see the white wire coming up. The white wire goes to the to the pole. That's known as the common. So what what numbers are those? Nine nine ten eleven twelve. It's your common connection, 9, 10, 11, 12. If you look on the top side, you can see 9, 10, 11, 12 across the bottom. That's your common. 1, 2, 3, 4, that's normally closed. So if I look at the bottom again, try to get the light just right. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4 across the top. That's the closed connection. The ones in the middle, five, six, seven, eight, that must be the open. And sure enough, that's the open connection. So one five nine, that's one pole. You have an open and a closed. Two eight ten. Three nine eleven and four eight twelve. Oh, 3711. Okay. Um, the, the, the letters are very small on this. On the very bottom, you can see the coil itself. This one has an, an LED. See that LED symbol right there? Um, right. Try to get my pen in there. Right down here. Okay, that's the LED symbol. And you can see the green LED right there, right under the plastic right there. So this one's got a light. Uh, it is polarized though. LEDs are polarized. So see the plus sign right here. The plus sign on that terminal. Terminal 14. So 14 is positive. 13 is negative. If I get them backwards the relay will still energize but the light won't turn on. So I want to try and get the polarity right um, just so I get the, the benefit of the light. Uh, what that does is, you know, when the relay is working, I can I can see that it's energized and it should be working correctly. Sometimes what you'll notice with these relays over time, uh, the points will get damaged from opening, breaking, make and break a, a circuit. You get a little spark inside there, and um, you know, over time, it looks like that one's not even closed right there. I don't, I can't tell real, right off. I'm sure it is. It's brand new. Um, but over time, the relay points will get damaged. And you may you may lose your circuit. It may not connect properly. Uh, sometimes also, the contacts will weld together because you'll have a current surge that'll stick the contacts together. And um, you know, I, I hate to say it, but what you can do is go along and, and tap on the relay. You know, tap tap tap. You might break that contact loose. So that's one way you can find a bad relay is just like tap on them and see if it responds. Um, the other way is to pull it out, get your meter out, do continuity tests on the on the contacts. That's really the best way to do it. Uh, the, the tapping technique 
will get you through a, a problem, but it won't fix it. You'll still have to replace the relay. Okay, so the only thing else I'll say about this is the contacts have a limited amount of current carrying capability, and I don't, I don't, I can't make out the, can't make out any notes on here about contact ratings. If it is, it's too small for me to see it. Uh, what I would do is look up this part number, this part number right here. Look that part number up and find out what the contacts can carry. If they're so small, I would guess maybe maybe 10 amps, maybe 5 amps, something like that. Uh, I don't want to overload the contacts. I'll burn them out really quick and they'll weld together. You can't do that. So if you have a high current load, you need to have a, a, a relay or a contactor that can, can carry that amount of current. Um, Last thing I'll say about this, this is an ice cube relay. Some relays don't have a plastic case on them. They're called open frame relays. And they're okay as long as you're not going to have your hands around them. You know, otherwise there's a shock hazard. Uh, I, can, I, can, I can switch a 120 volts to these contacts or higher if it's rated for that. So you have to be careful. Okay. Uh, this is a four pole relay. Sometimes you'll have a two pole. Uh, maybe maybe a three pole or even just a single pole relay um, depending on what you what you need and how many contacts you need